Well, a team of researchers is developing a computer simulation to try and predict and to try to prevent something that we've become all too familiar with, and that is mass shootings. Karthik Vedantham is a researcher and international student with the MyTax Global Link program. He joins us this morning live from Kamloops, uh, British Columbia, with absolutely fascinating research that your team is doing. So break it down for us. How are you trying to predict and stop future mass attacks that we've seen in the news Far too much. Hey, hi. Uh, so uh, basically, what we are trying to do is uh, we have this 3D environment uh, which sort of models the real world, uh, if you call it so. So let's just say you have a concert or a venue that you want to protect. So we'll model that in 3D environment, and then we'll kind of analyze that space and look what uh, in that environment around a certain radius, of course. What is the best spot from where someone can attack from. So which spot has the best visibility, uh, the elevation, or uh, angle of attack, and we consider all uh, things like that, and uh, it's basic uh, 3D analysis, and then we sort of like statistically come up with a f location that has the best chances of like uh, attacking, you might say. So it's the l l most likely position from where someone might attack logically. Okay, so, yeah, so Karthik, we're we actually go. looking at, I believe, some of your um, your software and your simulation right now, and it looks to us that you've got a 3D map of the Las Vegas Strip, and as we sadly mm -hmm. know, that was the site of uh, one of America's worst mass shootings. So um, your first test run of the tool was used on that site. How did it do? Yeah, so interestingly, uh, the main concept or the main driving force behind this project was the Las Vegas attack. So we wanted to prevent further attacks like this. And we used this uh, sort of like a building, you know, basic steps. So we, uh, after we finished the project, uh, we have tested it on the Las Vegas site, on the Route 91 Harvest Festival. And surprisingly, the test results have like collaborated with what happened in real time. So uh, I'm, we are like writing a paper uh, just like yesterday and we, we were like going through all the results and it actually showed the exact location from where Stephen Paddock, the lone wolf shooter in Las Vegas attack has shot from. So yeah, I'd say it's, it's going pretty good. So let's talk about this. This uh, is hoping, this program that you're creating, you're hoping it's going to be ready by the end of the summer and it will then only be available for law enforcement and military. But listen, the obvious question is, it's great if it's in the hands of the good guys. What are you doing to ensure this technology does not get into the hands of people who would do us harm? Yeah. So as of now, uh, in the development stages, we have kept it pretty uh, just to ourselves. We didn't uh, over-publicize it or anything. So, and we have restricted the app access that you uh, people have to this project to a very like four or five people. That's it. So it's just as uh, researchers. Yeah, and we are like uh, I don't know. It's just like if you just give it to police uh, and military, they would make sure that it doesn't go out of hand. So, yeah. Okay, so lastly, we had a massive um, championship parade in Toronto here. You may have heard about it over there on the West Coast. It was for the Raptors. And we uh, approximate that 2 million people showed up for that celebratory parade. Your mm -hmm. tool, if you applied it to that situation, could it work? And could it give us some um, examples of situations that we could prevent? Yeah, so that's a very good question. So we had this exact thing in mind. Uh, we have developed a program for static environments, uh, I mean for standing th something like a venue or something. Then we actually ma developed it to be a dynamic simulation uh, software, which means, let's say if you're in a motor care or as in a parade that you have mentioned, so as you go on, you can dynamically analyze this, uh, a situation and at that current, at that position, at, at that time, you can see what is the building that you should be aware of from where an attack might come from. So exactly, that's a good question. So it could be used in it. I believe it will be used for the very same purpose in the future. Karthik, uh, interesting work that you're doing over there. We really appreciate you uh, breaking it down for us this morning here on the show. Yeah, no problem. Sure. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.